recording material. Okay, uh, we started the recording. I, I hope uh, yeah. we're now, yeah, uh, we, we started recording and there is some uh, conversation above. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so can you read and decipher the information that whatever has been provided here in terms of uh, what's funny in this picture? Can you, can you understand it? The question is, why do you want to work here? Uh, 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 I speak here. Allow me to refuse. Allow me to rephrase your question. What does yes, mean? yes. Uh, please, since the next few minutes, complimenting me and guarding my company's boss. My company's boss. It's just like uh, the funny remark here about the job interviews that whenever you're asked a question like, why do you want to work here? Here, the intended answer from the employer side would be, it's just the assumption, we don't know, but uh, for the top uh, for, uh, for the top company, that's not the case, uh, which is quite obvious. And so here it is intended that uh, the employee asks if you can spend the next few minutes complimenting our company or complimenting me as a let's say human resources manager or whatsoever. Okay. So, uh, hello there, uh, we have new participants and still we are uh, waiting for the other students and unfortunately we'll have only 40 minutes and then we, uh, we're going to reschedule the, uh, let's say, our Zoom. Uh, by the way, it's, uh, I'm recording the video, we're going to post it to our YouTube channel so that you can view it at a later time uh, for your perusal. All right. Uh, Okay. Can you introduce yourself, Rasul, to Ms. Naima, and then she's going to introduce, and then what, what, uh, if we have the other participants to be joined, then we're going to make those conversations. Here, unlike our traditional lessons, we're going to speak, you are going to speak more than me, because this is called a conversation club. Uh, yes, uh, uh, my name is Rasul. Uh, I am seventh grade in uh, I am uh, I am thirteen uh, years old and uh, I read uh, seventh grade in seventh grade uh, I live in Baku. And what about your dream job? Because we're going to talk about the jobs, and you need to decide uh, decide which job you're going to talk about. Because this will be a kind of job interview. I'm going to ask you that. Why did you, would you like to work in this area and so forth? Do I you have any? To, uh -huh. uh, I want to be a businessman, and I want to go at the uh, university. Mm -hmm. You want to be a businessman. All right. Okay, uh, can you introduce yourself, Ms. Naima? Sure. My name is Naima Mamadova. Uh, I'm studying law faculty in Baku State University. Uh, I'm studying in first course. Then uh, I am 19 years old and I'm living in Baku. My dream job is being lawyer in the future. And I want to create my own law company. You want to be a lawyer and you need to work in the legislation part of the government management system. Okay, very good. So uh, we've started with something fun and I'd like you to just uh, reflect on these uh, pictures and tell me whether or not you understood it. Okay, we are looking for some more age. 20 to 26. Oh, I understood that. I understood that uh, it shows it shows that nowadays uh, demands for getting job um, is unreal, really unreal, because uh, they wanted very much qual uh, very much thing qualifi qualifications from uh, from people, for example, non knowing uh, three or four language or having very uh, having um, experience 
and and uh, who and who starts uh, the work first time uh, finding job became difficult for them. Okay. What about this one? Okay, How would you describe yourself verbally but I have also prepared Prepared in advance. Yeah. Verbal means in a spoken way. Okay. How would you describe okay. yourself verbally? But also I prepared a dance. Okay, it's just a kind of final remark which cannot be mentioned in the job interview. And this is the last one. Okay, what's your great weakness? Honestly, I don't think that's honestly the weakness. I mean, I, it means I don't care what you think. So this is really what he, uh, what she thinks, but this is two honest remarks to be made in the job interview. All right, now I'm going to ask you the types of, uh, let's say, questions that you can see in the job interviews, okay? So during the job interview, you may be asked sometimes tough questions, okay, difficult questions. And tough interview questions uh, vary widely between industries, but uh, uh, there are several tough questions employers commonly use to learn more about you as a candidate, especially from the uh, psychological point of view. Therefore, uh, I'm going to ask you some uh, tough questions here instead of the easier questions. All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's get started with, uh, let's say, Ms. Naima. What critical feedback do you most often receive? What critical what? What critical f feedback do you most often receive? Uh, generally, generally, uh, they say uh, it says that I can't concentrate on something. Everyone, everyone says that about me. My teachers, my uh, my friends, and even my family. How about the truth? Just extend your answer. What? Prolong your answer. Just uh, give us more information about it. Yeah, this is a okay. conversation club and you we need to speak instead of me need to speak. okay I, can, uh, I can't concentrate on something easily for example when i read something uh i start i start to think other things after reading it takes five minutes and because of it i can i can't i can't something uh in a, in uh in a few time every time when i uh, want to read something or when I want to watch movie or other things it takes uh, more time more, it takes more time for me than other people's and uh, because of it um, I have difficulties in studying or working or doing uh, other issues in my daily life and I'm uh, I try to watch uh, psychological videos about uh, about decreasing uh, that habit and I hope one day I can uh, I can reduce this because it's really uh, it's really big obstacle for me okay so uh, do you have any solution for her problem Rasul? solution yeah she has the problem of being concentrating on something and would you like to say something in this respect um. okay uh, it doesn't matter then let me ask you a question that tell me about the you tell me about your dream job okay now you're going to describe your dream job that what do you want to be and what kinds of profits that you'd like to generate by being a businessman? How are you going to make a, be a businessman? What kind of networks you, networks you're going to create during your businesses? Just talk a little bit about these. 
uh, first uh, I want uh, I want to go at a university and uh, want a computer uh, businessman computer businessman and um, in uh, I want uh, I want uh, businessman because uh, I like to uh, I like to um, work in computer. Um, All right. So, uh, Ms. Naima, tell me about the time you overcame an obstacle. Uh, overcame. Please repeat. So, uh, describe the time that you overcame an obstacle or a problem. You okay. solved a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. I never asked my friends or other people for overcoming any problem or obstacle because I think uh, solving problem myself makes me uh, more powerful and uh, I always offer my uh, offer my friends that, that's um, my friends that let's um, solve problem yourself but in the uh, but as a last way solving problem sometimes uh, the situation made me ask ask for help uh, for my mother or my best friend. But uh, I always uh, try to solve my uh, problems logically. I never uh, listen the the voice of my heart because uh, I think solving um, it's always great it all, um, because this habit creates uh, creates uh, new problems every time. Uh, I practice it in my life. And at first, uh, we should know what's our problem exactly, uh, and then uh, we, we can then then uh, we can uh, observe other people that why they uh, what they do in this problem in the situation, and we can uh, we can uh, and. Um, we can do the same things for solving uh, this problem or uh, founding new tactics for uh, for overcoming uh, these obstacles. But then I think uh, if uh, if we can't solving these problems, uh, we didn't uh, we shouldn't upset about it because our uh, because uh, our failure is a new chance for uh, Victor. Okay. So, uh, did you describe the example time that happened to you? Example time? Yeah. Sure. Well, when, when this happened? So, just uh, concentrate on the question. Okay, focus on the question. And uh, the question okay. is asking you to tell me about the time. So you need to give the specific experience that you have lived through. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. And okay. One time, uh, when I uh, when I go to walk with my uh, with my friends in the Fountain Square, uh, when I became uh, the home, uh, I saw that I lost my whole money which I need for a month, then it's a very big problem for me because uh, if, my, uh, if my father knows it, it's, he became very angry about it. And at first uh, I, did, I didn't know what I should do. Then uh, I speak about this, my, uh, my best friend that I lost my home money, but and I didn't know how uh, how I should how I uh, speak this uh, how what I do about this? Then he then she uh, said said that let's uh, let's tell your mother your mother every time understand uh, understand understands you. Then I go my mother and speak uh, speak all the problem to her. Uh, and at first she became really angry with, <laughs> with it, but then uh, he, he helped me and said, uh, no matter, nothing is important than you. And I solved my problem. Okay, 
can now uh, the question is addressed to Russell. How do you handle stress? Handle stress? Yeah. Mm. How do you manage stress? Have you ever been through stress? If so, how do you handle it? If not, if you haven't ever been through stress, then just think about the ways that people can solve these stress-related stress problems. Do you, know, do you know stress? Stressful situation? Mm -hmm. Go on. Um, uh, when I don't know some questions or I write, uh, I write uh, wrong exercise, uh, sometimes I uh, want to uh, stress. Uh, uh, first, uh, through uh, the stress, uh, um, uh, I can want to solve uh, that exercise or that problems, and I want uh, help. Uh, sometimes I want to help uh, my sisters to uh, help me, uh, and uh, when uh, I want, uh, when I can uh, solve that. I uh, I saw uh, that stress. Okay, one thing that you do is seek assistance from the others who know more than you, who can be of assistance to you. And the second thing is that you're just going towards a stress point to fight against it and defeat it. Yeah, very good. And another another question is addressed to Naima. What have, uh, what have been your most positive and negative management experiences? Positive and negative experience? Yeah, management experiences. That management. you manage, yeah, that you manage something. The social club or let's say uh, it would be your uh, friends or in the workplace is, uh, at your educational institution. It doesn't matter. Okay. Positive management experience. Okay. Positive and negative. You can say uh, you can talk uh, about one of them or both of them. It's up to you. Okay. At first, uh, I want to start my positive exper management experience. At first course, uh, I offered my friends uh, in the group uh, let's uh, let's visit uh, children who live um, shel uh, a child shelter. Then we gathered uh, money and bought them uh, food and toys. Then we went the accommodation and we start play. Uh, we start to play them to uh, to have a good time with them. And we organized a party. And I think uh, everyone who has uh, who uh, and I think everyone who has uh, opportunity should turn it for them because. Uh, to see the positive uh, emotions on their face was everything. Uh, and uh, at, the, at the end of the day, uh, all of us feel, feel ourselves good for doing uh, good things for them because they don't, uh, they don't have anybody. And I finished. And you felt very excited about the thing that you've done by means of your assistance to them. Okay. Uh, also, I'm taking some notes uh, to be delivered to you after the conversation. Uh, so, Rousseau, what's your biggest weakness? A weakness? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, about uh, the... Um, Lessons mm -hmm. about the lessons of weakness. So just pretend that this is a kind of uh, let's say a job interview, and you want to be a businessman, and I'm the person you came to me, and this is the job interview. I'm asking you a question that was your weakness, and in order to make yourself be admitted to this workplace, you have to talk about your weakness, okay. Uh, 
uh, first uh, I can uh, say about uh, my uh, weakness uh, lesson. I was in uh, chemistry, uh, chemistry, but uh, uh, I uh, need to learn that uh, very good because I got first uh, group. Uh, I got first group. Uh, Is that your weakness? Yes. Uh, I don't. I don't good at chemistry. You are not good at chemistry. Okay. So what's your good side? What's your strength, Ms. Naima? Um, what's my good? Mm -hmm. Questions for me? Yeah. Okay. My good side. I think I always try to stay. Uh, strong in every bad situation. I never show. Uh, I never show uh, that I feel gloomy or upset to others. I always say uh, I'm fine. Everything is good. Even my friends. Uh, even I say that's my friends. I think uh, showing uh, showing being. Uh, I think show being. Uh, I think to show that I feel gloomy. It's um, it's not. It's not good. Uh, it's not it's, an appropriate behavior. Mm, yes, it's not appropriate, uh, appropriate behavior because uh, I because uh, I uh, I don't have people who always complaining about their uh, work or personal uh, issues and because of it, uh, I I don't want to I don't uh, I don't want to be uh, to I want I don't want to uh, like uh, persons which I don't like, and uh, I always try try to to stay positive about everything. I never uh, complaining about uh, seeing problems, hardships. Uh, I uh, and I try believe that everything will be okay and everything is good at the moment. Make me upset is very difficult. Uh, Rasul, uh, which jobs do you think that's going to be very important in the future? Which jobs? Uh, I think uh, uh, I think is the most important jobs. Are important uh, jobs are uh, doctors and uh, doctors business uh, businessmen. Um, uh, and some, uh, uh, I think uh, the, uh, the most important jobs are uh, doctors and businessmen. Uh, I want doctors because uh, in future, uh, there are, uh, uh, now uh, there are uh, uh, in current days, there are a virus and uh, in the in the in the world, uh, all uh, countries need need uh, some uh, important things, and uh, the most important uh, doctors. Uh, in future, there are uh, the, in future there are uh, 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 the uh, most. Uh, biggest virus in the world and that time there are the needs uh, a lot of uh, a lot of um, doctors uh, in the world yeah so being in the health industry is of utmost importance so that you can solve some health related issues yeah that, that's a good point to be touched upon and the next question is coming for Ms. Naima. Why are you leaving your current position? So just imagine that, uh, just imagine that you are working in a, a in a, in another camp, a company, and now you're about to leave your current position. And I'm asking you that why are you leaving your current position? Mm, I can't understand questions or question world. Uh, I should speak about the condition about my work here. Yeah? Yeah, just imagine that you're working okay. in one company, but 
you are applying to another company to work and that's why you need to leave your current position, your present position in that job. So the question is addressed to you that why are you leaving your current position? Okay, why are you leaving my current position? Okay, uh, at the beginning uh, of the um, at the beginning of the year, everything was okay about my job. Uh, my I, I thought that my my boss is, is uh, my boss and uh, other workers are easy going people. That but then uh, I realized that uh, my boss uh, abusing uh, my boss abuse uh, all workers in the here. Uh, for example, last week he made me uh, work um, more than nine hours in that office, and I went uh, to my home at at ten o'clock. Uh, uh, and I can't do my uh, I can't do my uh, dinner. I can't have uh, I couldn't have dinner uh, that day, and uh, I should work with empty stomach whole day and it was a horrible situation and um, I plan to leave this work even I can't work uh, even I can't find uh, another job because uh, working in this situation is just impossible uh, it's uh, it's against it, it's against humor even human rights and and uh, I hear that I hear that uh, he, he, now he's planning uh, to cut our salaries for next uh, for next month. Because of these issues, uh, I applied uh, for a job uh, in another company. In which company? Other company. So, uh, but you are in the job interview. You have to just imagine yourself. So, if you say that I'm here, I've applied to your company as well as the other companies then your chances are not likely very high, right? Okay. Therefore, you, you have to say that, that's why I'm applying to your company, okay? Oh, okay. You know I, that in your company, these are good and there are several positive aspects that I'd like to touch upon. Uh, first of all, the management staff that I know in close, uh, they, they, they are very honest people and they have the integrity uh, towards their employees. Therefore, I like to work in a place in a in a work environment in which I'm going to demonstrate myself without thinking about my uh, let's say dinner, without thinking about my uh, future payments. Okay, but if you say okay. that I've already applied to the other companies, it's not a uh, good side. It is stated. Uh, I understood. Uh, I understood the question wrong. Cause... Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you like to uh, comment further? Yes. Uh, Go on. I okay. Uh, the, um, I apply job for uh, this company because uh, I heard about your company that uh, that at first the salary was is very good in in this company and. Uh, you provide workers with a car for going, uh, for going uh, the places connected with job. But uh, my, but uh, the last company which I worked, uh, I should go, uh, I should go the places uh, by metro or by taxi, and I always, get, uh, I, I, I always was getting uh, late. And then I heard that. Uh, the I heard that uh, the life insurance what's sort of insurance insurance I heard about uh, the life insurance in your company and it's very really good you uh, you provide your workers uh, with everything even even uh, even medical checkup then. Uh, the, this company's location is very good for me. Uh, I live uh, the next. I live the next street, the company, and uh, and my and my friend uh, worked here one year ago. Then then she lived. Uh, then then she lived this company because of 
because she went to a foreign country, but she said to me that your company is very good, your uh, workers staff uh, are very uh, easygoing people, and everyone would want to work uh, with them. Okay. Here you can also see in the screen that why did you leave your last job? It's again a funny picture. The answer is, Rasul, can you read it? The answer. Uh, yeah. uh, why, did you, uh, why did you leave your last job? Uh, the company uh, created and didn't tell me where. Uh, uh, the company goes somewhere yeah. and uh, uh, yeah, don't see that uh, boy. Yeah. Don't see that where is the boy. Uh -huh. Didn't say. They changed his office and didn't inform him about the new office. And now he's unemployed. Okay. So uh, these are very. Uh, so, uh, okay. Another question is coming to Russell. Uh, in terms no, 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 no. I'm asking you a question. Okay. And you are going to answer the question. And by the way, you can read the. Uh, the let's say pictures on the screen if you want to. Do you have any regrets? Regrets. Regrets. Do you know what does regret mean? Regret. Regret is something like after doing something bad, you feel regret. Okay. You are regretful. You do it and you say that oh why did I do it? It was not correct. Yeah, that's regret. Uh, what's the question now? Uh, so the question is, do you have any regrets? Uh, do I have any regrets? Um, yeah. Hmm. That you did something bad and then you felt sorry hmm. about that. Uh, sometimes I have uh, regrets. Uh, First, uh, at the uh, writing the uh, lessons in class, sometimes I want to be uh, first and I write very fast, uh, but uh, I have been in mass, I, I can make uh, some calls. Uh, for example, I write one or uh, I, I write one, but there is two that uh, I have uh, that uh, problems uh, and uh, that this is my regrets. Okay. Uh, the next question to you, Ms. Naima. Here, uh, as an interviewer, I'm I I interviewing you to ask you about your passion about the, uh, the current position. But why should we hire you? Why should we employ you? Okay, why should we employ you? Okay, um, at first uh, I want to know I'm very easy going person. Uh, I can I can find the way uh, for I I can find the right way for treating people, even who uh, is very uh, even who is very uneasy and aggressive. And uh, and I always uh, I always treat my uh, I always be respons uh, responsible about my about my jobs. Uh, I never be late, and uh, and I try I try to uh, develop myself every time uh, in my uh, in every time in my relations and in my works and. Uh, I worked. I have um, very good um, work experience in other companies, and I, I had I have learned many things during this ex during this experience. And uh, I uh, then I finished. So, why do generally employers ask this kind of question? Is that they want to understand what? differentiates you from other candidates? What differs you, what is different in you from the other uh, people that uh, they're going to also be interviewed for this position? 
Uh, so to answer this kind of question, you need to explain how your experience, uh, I mean work experience, skills and attributes make you, the, make you the best fit for the job. Okay, you need to integrate these three factors, your work experience, the skills that you have acquired during your job and also the attributes that you've gained. And make sure to carefully review the job description beforehand to understand what quali qualities that they are looking for. Okay, in the job description, they're uh, saying that we're seeking a candidate with blah, 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 blah skills. Okay, then when you address those skills that I have this skill, for example, I'm a good problem solver, and then you're giving the work experience example that you've had. Okay, then it's going to t uh, resonate with them, and vice versa. Okay, another question is for uh, Russell. Uh, so this is a very simple question in the job interview, but also it's one of the questions that most uh, people struggle. Uh, tell me about yourself. Here, employers will likely ask the question uh, early on in the interview process, in the very beginning, or you might have to ask for it in the early stage phone interviews or recruiter skis and so forth. So to answer this kind of question, Instead of just talking about yourself, that uh, I want to be this, I am applying for this position, I have the, let's say, whatever can be found in your resume, in your CV, so you don't have to talk about it. You should provide a quick synopsis of your education, highlights of your professional experience and achievements, and what brought you to the position you're applying, applying for. Okay, you need to talk about your motivation, that how you integrate, how you found this job, and why your uh, back educational background and professional background force you towards this uh, position and now you're here in the interview. Okay, uh, no, tell me about sorry. yourself. Mm -hmm. Talk about yes. your background education. Now you're going to imagine yourself as a ADA graduate that you've already studied and completed your uh, education. And now talk a little bit about that and then integrate it to your current position being a, bus a businessman. Uh, uh, first, uh, uh, about the business, uh, yeah. I want, I uh, don't want to make, I don't want educate uh, in uh, Azerbaijan. I want to go abroad, uh, some, some uh, countries. Uh, I uh, some countries. I uh, think I like uh, uh, can Canada or Canada. Wait, 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 wait. So now. I'm asking you that you are applying to our company and I want you to tell you uh, tell me uh, about yourself. And if you say that you want to go to Canada, then how I can promote you, how I can, uh, let's say, uh, employ you to our company. Okay, because after being here uh, a year, probably you're going to apply to the Canadian University and you're going to go out, right? So in that case, it's not the reasonable answer. Okay, you want to work here in my company as a businessman and therefore answer it in a way that's going to be very efficient. By the way, uh, we have uh, limited time now. Uh, if uh, it, it just suddenly turns out, I'm going to send you the new scheduling link. And also in the second part of the speech, we're going to talk a little bit about your, uh, let's say, mistakes that however it can be fixed, what were the mistakes that uh, I've noted here. Okay, if, it's, uh, if it turns off, don't be afraid, I'm going to send you the new links. Okay, go ahead. Tell me about yourself. Uh. Okay, uh, let's uh, divert this question because this is a kind of imagination and you haven't worked, you haven't seen the higher education, therefore, it might be very difficult for you to imagine the work-related issues. Therefore, I think Naima might be more suitable in asking this question. Can you tell me about yourself based on the concepts that I've talked about? Okay, being a lawyer uh, is my child is my childhood dream, and I always imagined myself. I always imagined myself as a lawyer in one in a company, and um, at the university. At the university, I always, uh, I always was going to companies uh, as intern, and uh, and I got many certificates, uh, certificates uh, when I 
studying at your, when, uh, when I was studying at the university then, I continued my master's degree in foraging country. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, then uh, I like this. Uh, I, I like I like this job at first. Uh, I think uh, being lawyer so interesting, more interesting than other jobs, because uh, uh, lawyers always meet uh, different peoples, different life stories, problems, and uh, and. Uh, I th and I think uh, more interesting is always more difficult, and I like uh, I like this job's difficulties too. Uh, and I never I never like uh, I never liked easy works because they're very boring for me. Then uh, my family always inspired me about being uh, about being lawyer, and. Uh, but but at the but uh, in the end, uh, I made the decision about being lawyer myself. Then, because of these issues and uh, uh, good opportunities in the future and and the in interesting things in this uh, job, uh, I chose being lawyer as a career. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'm, it's going to uh, turn off. Therefore, I'm just turning off and sending you the links. Now we're going to start the second session.